Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 25. Let's play the Old Gods for Crusader Kings 2. Looking pretty good on our retinue. We've got tons of men available. Hopefully it's been long enough that we can do... Can we do a subjugation cast of spell eye? No, not yet. Hasn't been nine years yet. I am 48 though, getting a little bit old. I've lost my councilman, my chancellor apparently. Apparently he decided to step down for a moment, but we're going to make him do it again. Um, do I really want to fabricate claims with anybody? I wanted to create this duchy, this petty kingdom, but it's currently held by this guy who lives over here. So we're going to need to attack him. He is a potential target. We just need to get our men back. Let's wait for our ships. I noticed that this guy did some looting. He got 2.2 gold. Yeah, that's nothing. We're going to show him how it's really done. Here comes one of the groups of boats. And the other. Oh, one of my sons is dead. That's actually probably a good thing. I'd rather play as this one, the attractive boy. It can really help. Like, an attractive male isn't as good as being a female character and being a ruler. But an attractive male is actually a lot safer from plotting because all the women in your court won't plot against him. They, they like him too much. And also, when you're plotting against foreign targets, all the women in their court will want to help you because they think you're attractive. They'll swoon over your beauty. So... That's silly, but true. What do we want to do? Who doesn't like me? Looks like this guy doesn't, so let's have you go improve relations with them. And I'm going to combine all these because I want to have one big haul. Look at that. 2,300 gold, roughly. This is how you do it. 2,283. Bam! 90. Bah. You guys are stupid. Oh, don't, don't disband the retinue. Do not disband it. I almost did it again. Okay, so, um, well, we might as well commission a runestone. Sure, why not? That could be fun. Let's have it speak of me. Obviously, I'm amazing. It should mention, let's make it about how just I was. And let's go get maimed. Any reason to revoke these counties? I could plot to revoke the county of Savolax. Savolax is here. Why would I want to revoke that? I don't. I want a duchy that I can create into a republic. I could make this... Could I create this duchy? No. Well, we stood down my entire military, so... I want... Um, let's do this. We're going to focus on this guy. And if we take his coast... Let's just take that from him real quick. One little quick war. I really don't want to have to to raise all the men. It's too much work. So we'll just take some of them. The other reason why I want to get a larger army is because the... Uh, or, sorry, get up to Empire tier is because then I can have larger liege levies, which are much easier to manage, versus all this stuff. Like, why is this... Why are you two at war? You are. What are you fighting over? Stop it. That's dumb. Okay, whatever. Let's just select all of them and just go there. We'll just see what we end up with. Oh, damn it. Now I can't get maimed. And yet we are still hunting. Let's spare its majesty. Okay, what did we end up with? 7,000 men. Should be enough. Let's go take them out. I'm leading the battle. Attack! Charge! I'm Roth. <laughs> the stone is raised. The rune stone you commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. Cole, the son of Thorbrander, has had the stone raised in his own lifetime. There was no more fair and just in all things. Men and women traveled far to seek his counsel in disputes. Coldyarn carved these runes. 
you leave the stone content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when its paint has long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words. 200 prestige, 2 diplomacy, and plus 10 opinion for about 2 years. That's worth it. 100 gold for that. Not bad. We have enough men that this makes sense to assault. We won't lose very many at all. Let's just assault all three. And we'll wrap that war up real quick. Now, since he's going to lose his title, I should now be able to create this duchy. Actually, nope. Ended up becoming my vassal. Oh, come on, man. Just give it to me. Oh, I do have a claim on it. Hmm. You can give it to me. Freaked me. Oh, God, it scared me. <laughs> the entire army disappeared. I'm like, where's the retinue? Where did it go? Oh, my God. <laughs> can we make more retinue? I want, I want another one. We're almost the... We can almost get one more. What is this? Why is this being held? Who are you fighting? Oh. Stop fighting. I need more levy. Okay, so I became the Jarl. So that means that I've got this duchy. And now I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to make a republic. I want a republic. So let's create a... Um, let's go ahead and give him this duchy, or this county of Upland. That makes him a lord mayor. And then if we give him the duchy itself of Upland, or Jarldom of this thing, including lower titles. We're going to make a brand new republic. Now one of the nice things about creating a republic out of thin air is that every single patrician family gets a bonus 500 gold, so creating a republic infuses 2500 gold into your realm. It's just created out of nowhere. You can see that by checking each of these individuals. They've got 500 gold. And I think that this is an oversight by Paradox because if you create a republic in the year 900, 500 gold has much, much more value than 500 gold in the year 1100. So, I don't know, I think personally it should scale. Like, the earlier in the game a republic is created, the less wealth they have. And the reason they give them all this gold is so that they can build a trade post right away. And, you know, they're, they're probably going to build some trade posts. I don't actually know if it's possible for me to check their trade post limit. Um... But um, we'll see if they actually build any. That'll help out quite a bit with the income of our realm in the long run. And hopefully they'll just build all of them everywhere. I mean, if we press G, we can see the Republic. So it's just Genoa and Venice right now. So, okay, what to do now? We've got 2,300 gold. Looks like everyone's hard at work. That's nice. I could even just build some more actual holdings. These guys can't even have extra holdings. It's just space for the one. one. Apparently I own this. That does make a little bit of money. Oh, and it is part of our duchy. Kind of does make sense for me to own it. It's kind of a crappy holding, though. Yeah, like, for instance, I think building a city here would make a ton of sense. 500 gold? I think it's worth it. Let's do it. This one could use a city as well. There are no other counties that I hold directly except for this one. But I'm still not really even that happy about this one. Let's actually build... I like having counties have cities, because this baronry is never going to upgrade itself very well if they don't have the taxation from a city. Plus, eventually the city is going to create, you know, just more levy as well. So, to me, it makes a lot of sense to build big holdings like this. I don't know. I mean, I've got nothing else to spend the money on while we wait for the next subjugation CB. I mean, we've got small, small du jour claims, but... I mean, what can we go to war for? We just have potential target. What does potential target mean? Potential target. Does that mean, like, I could potentially plan an invasion? How do you do that? I'm still trying to figure it out. 
I know it's not a decision, right? Or a, it's not a plot choice here. It's not a, not on this screen. I can't, I don't know. I can't seem to find it anywhere. Do we have the release prisoner modifier? We don't. Well, let's try imprisoning someone from the realm then and see if we can get a release prisoner modifier for them, from them. And do the Norse people care about that? Probably not. Yeah. They don't care about that crap. They just care about murder murdering them at the bloot. Bloot. She kill my wife. I don't want to pay to marry to divorce her. Damn it, no one wants to murder her. They must think she's like this sweet old lady. Here, you silly woman. Well, I guess what is the reason what would be the reason for me to divorce her? She's already ill, infirm. Just the fact that she's never given me any kids kind of bothers me. And we only have two concubines. We need another one. Let's find one. Search all. I want to get a genius. She's too old. 28-year-old. Here, you. She already is my concubine. Homosexual. She's already a concubine. I feel like I'm looking at the same people. I want... Good congenital traits. Here. She's already a concubine. Here. Oh, damn it. All the good ones are already taken. Okay, what if we do it this way? Let's sort by age. And that way maybe they're less likely to be married. And we'll work our way up and just try to find good congenital traits. That might make sense. Could work. There's the one. The imbecile. We need the retard. Or the inbred freak. Let's get her. Uh, here, this, this quick girl. Already a concubine. I probably already hovered over her once. How about the strong one? Let's take the strong girl. Thank you. Come here. She'll put up a fight. Okay, what to do now? Hmm. Those cities will take about five years to build. No, actually only two years, that's right. Prince and the Thane makes it take a lot longer. I'm still kind of used to that. Normally, yeah, it's just, it's just two years. That's pretty quick. Okay. Well, I kind of feel like since we... I don't know, I don't want to attack these other people because it's just little tiny tiny acquisitions. I feel like my, my time would probably be better spent raiding. I mean, we got 2,000 gold for that. We could do a du jour claim over some stuff, maybe. I guess we might as well. If we win, we just gain the county. Yeah, let's do the... We'll, do, we'll attack Denmark over this. I don't like this old hag. Take that from you. What's all this then? Well, that's Scotland. Scotland is massive, just waiting for a big war to break out for them. It would be a shame if this boy were to die. Does anyone want him dead? Maybe we can help that along. No one seems to want to plot against him. Costs 350 gold to just murder him. Well, we can always hope that he dies. Or I could go raid him. I could go raid his capital and maybe we could capture him and kill him. That's one way of doing it. We'll try that soon. In the meantime, yeah, this is all Scotland. What are you doing? Scotland's over here. Get out of Denmark. Can we attack you? Not part of our du jour realm.
Okay, feel pretty good about that. Wrap it up here. In the next video, we'll go and press all these wars. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.